All right, let's talk about when should the Detroit Lions consider taking the running back. Um, also, I'm going to get into uh, the Brees Hall. Um, let's just got some running backs coming up uh, today and this weekend. I'm going to get into scouting some of the running backs, but we all know, we all famously know like that uh, that uh, Kenneth Walker is, is big time here. I mean, you can also look at uh, what the Detroit Lions have uh, on their roster as far as running backs. So let's kind of look at that too. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and that subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Now they got four running backs here. Out of all the, the draft, and I think they board might go up to top 100, I believe it may be. So in a top 100, I think pick uh, 100 is the third round. So we all famously know that uh, we all famously know that uh, Terrell Davis was what a Sixth or seventh round um, drafted guy. I mean, you got a lot of running backs that that went late and that's producing even right now, you know, in the draft. You know, so we know it's gonna be some other guys in there, man. That uh, that pulled three and, and through, and, and the position has been devalued. You know, so no matter how much Ezekiel Elliott meant to what Dallas was doing, or you know what Christian McCaffrey means to the success of the Carolina Panthers when he's healthy. All we seeing is these running backs, you know, get paid, you know, Elliott, McCaffrey, and they start to break down, you know, you know, so and now, you know, running backs are being defined by, you know, catching the ball, you know, you know, it's more emphasis on catching the ball than pass protection and actually running the football, you know, so. Now it was, you know, now it's being devalued, but it's still important. I mean, when Aaron Rodgers made his single and only Super Bowl run, people tend to forget how important that uh how important uh James Stark was into into that run. He was very important on them going to Philadelphia on the road to Philadelphia. He was very important on them going going on the road and, and defeating uh Atlanta and going to Chicago and, and beating Pittsburgh in in the Super Bowl run. You know what I'm saying? Marshawn Lynch was very important to what Seattle did. Everybody talk about the Legion of Boom, but Marshawn Lynch was 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 huge in you know you know what they were doing as well too. So we can't undervalue you know some of these dudes running the football. That's that's very important. So um, so we can we can you know a lot of people can say what they want, but uh, you know running that football is, is essential to success in the National Football League still, you know. Um, and this year may not look like it per se a lot with Akers finally coming that back and running, you know, getting healthy and, you know, Cincinnati. But Joe Mixon was important to what Cincinnati did, you know what I'm saying? So um, it's still a value and you still got to go best player available, you know. You still got to go best player available. You got two guys uh, graded the same uh, – Graded at the same uh, grade, and you got an end in the in the running back, and you like, well, I feel like you know we need the end. You're gonna take the end. It's just, um, it's just what it is. So, just been devalued. But you look around, you know, Saquon Barkley ain't really lived up to the hype. You know, Melvin Gordon, he been solid, but you know, can you say that he really lived up to the hype? So, I mean, you know, they kind of devaluing it. But let's look. I'm pretty sure they probably has an updated day. Uh, the Lions probably have an updated day site, but let's see kind of, you know, see where they at with it. All right. Um, let's see. Right now you got Godwin and Ibuki. You also give you something on special teams. Jamar Jefferson, you know, flashed last, last year, was injured a lot too when he finally got activated. Craig Reynolds, DeAndre Smith, Jamal Williams. So really, you know, you can really say you really sat at the position, to be honest, um, with all these guys coming back. But, you know, um, like I said before, they haven't moved Jamal Williams like they easily can move him and move Craig Reynolds into that role. You know, guy went in the book, he lost some uh some trust when he kept fumbling the damn football. You know, when he kept fumbling the damn football, he lost a lot of uh trust from um 
he lost a lot of trust from uh from uh from a lot of Lions fans and his coaching staff. So like I said before, you know, the question is can Craig Craig Reynolds carry the load? That's a big question. Can Craig Reynolds get in there and can he can he carry can he carry the load in there? But when you look at some of the running backs that uh that's out here, you know, Spiller, you know, brought Reese Hall, Kenneth Walker, James Cook, more utility you got, you know, you gotta ask yourself, like, you know, James, James, I mean, Kenneth Walker the third, um, you know, explosive, you know. He passed up an opportunity to, to get somebody that's explosive. Right now, he got him ranked 47, so that will fall right in the second round. You know, had a good, had a really good combine. Um, production was great, you know, coming to Michigan State. I mean, what else do you want? You know, can catch the ball too a little bit. Um, explosive running back. <laughs> nothing more that you want, you know, nothing more that, you know, nothing more that you wouldn't want. 5'10, good height to size, good size. Um, you know, I seen Bruce Hall run the 40. Uh, I ain't really seen him play much, but they got him rated higher than Kenneth Walker the third as a pro prospect. Um, let me see. So he ran a 439. So yeah, he, he's pretty, he's pretty explosive, you know, 40 inch vertical. He quite the athlete and he measured in at 5'11, 217, a little bit he he uh, heavier. Um, um, you know, but you was a Kenneth Walker the third. He was what four? He was like four four something. You see, so five nine two eleven. Uh, he ran a four three eight. So I mean, thirty four inch vertical. And so he ran a four three eight. So I mean. Probably all it all probably depend on what you you know what you honestly prefer between them you know and Brees Hall has two damn all three years of production freshman sophomore junior it's all production you know twenty touchdowns rushing last year twenty one the previous year he's a sophomore you know nine his freshman year it's a lot of production being here so I mean you know when we look at the order as it stands now we don't know if some moves can be made or not move. Not me. You talking about some of the needs that Detroit need? You probably talk about. You probably talk about. Uh, I don't like the Sam Howell pick. You know, uh, I don't like drafting a corner. Why would you draft a corner? Like I said before, they dumb, right? So when you look at the when you look at when you look at the this this right here, but well, where can you start? I mean, you say your needs is you need uh, an inside linebacker. You need safety. You know, you might need another linebacker. You might need two linebackers. So you going to three, four. So you might need another inside linebacker. So you might need two ins, two linebackers, a uh, safety, a middle. You know, middle two, two linebackers. That's our class. You know, regular linebackers, weak, strong, middle. You know, safety, um, edge. I think you better equipped at the edge than you are a linebacker in safety. I think mean, offensively, you look at it. You still need a receiver. Um, you know, and you know, like I said before, you probably still need some help at guard a little bit, potentially taking the guard that can take over Decker. And overall, you still need premier talent, so you can't pass up on a on premier talent. You know, if you look at if he's the best on the board at 32, 34, 66, you get one of them. You know, you gotta, you know, you gotta get faster. And one thing about Kenneth Walker the third that he durable and he fast, and he don't have that much mileage on him, so um. So yeah, you know you got to boost. You everybody talking about the defense. The defense made it do what it do. <laughs> you know, imagine them healthy with additional picks. So, well, you know, like I said before, I probably say at thirty two, I start looking at a running back. Not saying I would take one that high, but at thirty two, I just start looking looking at it, and you know, you know, if I get a guy I like, then I got Jamal Williams that could probably bring me a fifth or sixth, maybe at the best a fourth round draft pick. Um, so so yeah, it depends. So. I mean, you might like somebody that's outside the top 100. That might be good. You can get great running backs anyway. And they got a good group. You know, Chase, I mean, Jefferson, and Ibuki, Reynolds, William Swift. But the thing about Swift is one of the reasons why you probably would get in there and consider to get a uh, to get a running back 
is because you need you need you know you need somebody that can be explosive and home run breaker behind Swift because he ain't always been a hundred percent. So that's something to look at too. You probably need a home run, a home run hitter behind Aaron Swift too. So you know you know in the bookie hit the hole hard. He fast, but you know he ain't holding on to the football. Then you know you think about you know uh, Rhythm's more power, Williams more power, uh, Jefferson more you know power and, and lateral quickness. But outside of them, outside of Swift, you really don't have maybe in a bookie a little bit. You really don't have that home run hitting running back. So, you know, this team can, you know, over overall use real true speed. That's one of the things this team can use. It can use real true speed. You know, remember that it can use real, real, you know, speed. So that's everywhere. You know, you need speed at receiver, you need speed at running back. If you're lucky to get Daxton Hill, you need speed and safety. You know, your linebackers, you know, none of them is good. You know, you need athleticism, speed, and somebody can play a linebacker. You know, you need edge up, you need speed up front in your edge. So it's really the thing is finding lead talent, depth, and speed, making this football team a lot faster than, you know, than, you know, you know, what it, what it is. So speed, 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 speed. You know, that's what you need, speed. You know, and overall production. So let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe button, the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase the chance notification. We go live and drop a video. Check out Detroit Lions talk playlist, more videos like this. Um financial we'll support the channel, cash out dollar sign, CJ Good313, Memo CJ Good313, PayPal link in the description. Um Twitter's the fast way to reach me on Facebook and Instagram, all links in the description. I have business question choir response, video requests. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time. Mercy Sports Talk.